I want to thank Reggie for the interview and thank you for listening to this episode of The Dossier. Two things to clear up. I found an article from the Register Guard newspaper in Eugene, Oregon in July of 2018. In the article, David Mack is quoted talking about his time running track for the University of Oregon. Here's the quote. It was a culture shock when I came in 1979, being a little kid from Compton, growing up in the concrete jungle and coming to this, Max stated. I know there was some disagreement between Phil and Reggie, whether David Mack was from Compton. I hope this clears it up. Mack also attended Locke High School, a charter school in Los Angeles. Lastly, I had not listened to the Valletta Wallace interview on The Breakfast Club that Reggie references, but here is verbatim what was said. Is it hard to watch like the unsolved stories that come on and the series and stuff like that that they've done? On Yes. Oh, yes. But we, we, it's not done yet. We're still fighting. You know, it's, it's still there. Right. You know, we're, we're not, I'm not going to give up. And um, I, I'm sure when anybody comes to CJ, he wants justice also and also his daughter, Tina. Uh-huh. She's asking you about how, how you feel when you're watching. Unsolved Mysteries? No, no, like the, the, the thing that Wavy did in. The, oh, the unsolved, oh, okay. Uh, on, what was that? Be honest with you, I watched it. <laughs> and um, there's some things that went on I knew about it I told him I wasn't going to be a part of it but I watched it and I'm glad it was out I am glad because 98% of it is the truth I hope if you have learned anything in this podcast is that context is everything to be clear Unsolved was a scripted TV series and that means it was fiction It wasn't a documentary based on truth or facts. Don't get that confused. That Valletta Wallace has stated in public the following. When Greg Kading had come to see her in Brooklyn, she had refused his offer to meet his prized witness, Teresa Swan. I told him I would only meet with her if she was locked up. I told Kading I would believe his case was true only if the people he said were responsible had been arrested. I was never with Greg Kading or on Greg Kading's side. Never. I've always believed, still believe, that the one person who truly tried to solve my son's murder was Russell Poole. If I'm with anyone, it's Poole, not Kading. Just remember I said this. Context. Context is what is lost if you don't tell the full story or if you only use partial truths.